Jason doing it live. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Trek coming to you live from the winter wonderland that is Trexco high above the wall in Luther, Michigan. The folks at Mad Duo wanted me to do a little uh, discussion today on cigars. If anybody knows me, there's actually a hashtag on Instagram that is Trek is always smoking a cigar and I'm very proud of it. I happen to have my one favorite vice, which is a good Maduro cigar, anytime that I'm out working in the shed or whatnot. So the big question that comes up all the time is how do you properly light a cigar? I am not a cigar snob. Frankly, I just want to get the cigar lit, but there are some methods out there because just like the nine versus 45, the Taurus judge versus the Taurus curve, the whatever argument of the day on the internet, uh, there is a lot of drama out there when it comes to the best way of lighting a cigar. So a couple different options that we see quite common. We have, of course, Zippo lighters. A lot of people carry them using good old Zippo, Zippo fluid. We have the ever-present Bic lighter. If I can get there, there we go. Bic lighter working. I'm gonna put my cigar down. We have the propane torches that are out there. Sweet Jesus, all right. Maybe not that one. And of course, we have the very popular wooden match. So lots of different ways to create fire. That is one of the beautiful things about being a human being, and we need to get this cigar lit. So just a couple things. As I mentioned before, I'm not a cigar snob. I just want to get this thing lit so I can enjoy it, uh, to enjoy my day, enjoy my good cigar. One point of interest is that they always talk about if you try to use a Zippo lighter, you're going to end up tasting the fluid. And as I mentioned before, uh, not being too much in the method of caring about how I get my cigar lit. You definitely, if you use a Zippo lighter, you quite often will taste that Zippo fluid. And if it's a really expensive, very nice cigar, that's probably not something you want to deal with. So I generally forego uh, Zippo lighters. However, you can get butane inserts for your favorite Zippo, and that's a great way to go. The other option, of course, that we have is the Bic lighters. Real cheap, 99 cents. Uh, I often use one of these, here's why. I lose my really nice butane lighter because I carry it around. It gets lost, I walk into a gas station, I wanna get this thing lit, and the two just work out like peas and carrots. And a lot of people are like, well, they use really cheap uh, butane in these and you're gonna taste it. Here's the deal, I'm getting ready to smoke something. Smoke in my mouth, okay? If I can taste the difference between high quality butane and the thing that's in this, uh, you, you, sir, uh, have a hell of a palate and you should be doing something completely different it is a culinary master of butanes. That's all I got for you. Um, the other method that we have, the diehards, is the wooden match. The biggest thing is if you want to use a wooden match and one, drive yourself crazy when it's a windy, misty, whatever kind of day uh, that doesn't like matches to light, is you want to make sure you let that match burn down ever so slightly so the sulfur taste gets out of there as you try to light that cigar. The last trick after you've decided on your method is you want to make sure that you get an even burn along the cigar. So as you light it, puff on a little bit, get some air and rotate, rotate that cigar so you get a nice even burn and you don't get canoeing. So here it is, a real brief three minute section on how to freaking light a cigar. I hope you, uh, if you haven't had a chance to enjoy a good stogie, get out there, try one, highly recommend Rocky Patel the edge. That's what I'm going for. So with that being said, everybody enjoy. Get out here and go back to work. <laughs>